up guys, Luna Wolf Max S here, messed up my mic. Another reaction video, this one was requested by Sinbad, long time follower, subscriber, whatever you want to call it. Um, he wanted to see KC135 Mechanic. He actually asked me to do a video of what I do every day. So th this is what I do, I'm a KC135 Mechanic for the United States Air Force. It's what I do in my day to day life. I want to apologize for the noise in the background, I'm washing some clothes. Um, if you want to get your request on the board, all you got to do is subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you want to see. I'll put it on the board. I'm not a dude that does like uh, popular or trendy videos. I don't hunt down those videos and do them. I let y'all decide what I watch. And y'all have picked amazing videos. But um, So yeah, I'm going to do that. But seriously, subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you want to see. It doesn't matter what it is. I will put you on the list. You'll go into the playoffs. I have the playoffs every five days. I have the uh, subscriber playoffs, and you can end up on the board. That's the best way I could do it, the most fair way I could do it. Uh, the more you request, the more you, your chances are to get on the board. Okay, so I'm going to be explaining while this video is playing. By the way, this video is from Advanced Military Tech. So if you want to see it without me running my mouth, go to them. Watch their video. I'm going to be, uh, it's actually kind of loud. I'm going to describe what's going on in the video. None of this is classified anything. If anybody's in the military and they tell you what they did was classified, they're lying. So, um, I mean, if if they, uh, if it's at least a year old, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and get this started. I'm not sure. I think this is the main National Guard. So, like, where I live in America... Like, say this is America. I'm down here. Maine's way up here. Maine's almost in Canada. Yeah, it's the Maniacs. It's a National Guard unit. Right now, the crew chiefs, which is the guy on the right, and the pilots, which is the guy on the left, they're walking around. They're doing the walk around. They do a uh, walk around right before the plane takes off. This is only a small portion of our job. This is possibly the easiest part of our job. Doing the walk around and then launching the jet out. So he, he's just looking at intake. He's making sure panels are closed up. You know, you look under the engine, make sure there's no leaks. He's taking out that right there. He's taking out down locks. The reason those down locks are in the main landing gear is so that when the plane's sitting on the ground, it doesn't collapse on itself. You have to take those out because if the plane takes off with those red locks in, the gear won't go up. See how the gear's down, like the landing gear's down right now? Uh, so right now, I would, like what I do, I would be sitting there waiting. Because the pilots, they do all, a whole bunch of checks with their computers and stuff. And us, me, what I do, I'd be sitting on the ground waiting for them to get done. I, that's the boomer. There's two pilots and a boom. So you have a left seat pilot, which is the lead pilot. And you have a right seat pilot, which is the co-pilot. And then you have a boomer. Um, to explain it, what our plane does is we refuel other aircraft in midair. So we go up in the air and other aircraft come up behind us and they refuel in air. The reason you do this is so that you can extend the flight of any jet. Like, uh, there's several missions we do where we'll we'll take like a fighter jet because they don't have they don't have a very large range. We'll take a fighter jet. That's the warning horn. We'll take a fighter jet across the ocean because they can't make it on their small fuel tanks. So we'll drag them. We call it towing. We'll tow a fighter jet across the ocean to get him to another country, to get him to, uh, I mean, you know, where we just, where I just come from, England, all that. So that guy with the orange vest on, he's the marshaler. The marshaler's the guy that stands out in front of the plane and tells it to come on, and then he turns it whichever way it needs to go, and then it goes and takes off. Audio of oh, starter valve issue. So right now, they're having an issue with the plane right before takeoff. 
So what they're going to do is they'll call whatever shot. That's really, really staticky. I can't, it's hard to tell what he's saying, but I understand what he's talking about. That's horrible. Horrible audio. <laughs> so what's happening right now is they went to start one of the engines and it's not rotating. So they're having a starter valve issue. Uh, I'm, I can't remember completely which shop that is, but Jet Shop or e and &E, I believe will come out. Jet Shop, they work on engines. That's all they do is work on the jet engine. e and &E, they're electrical, environmental. So they work on the... Uh, the electronics of the plane, stuff like that. To put it in a nutshell. And right now we're just staring at a black screen. I'm not going to watch this whole video. So once again, if you want to see the whole video, go to Advanced Military Tech. I might end up watching the whole video. It depends on how entertaining it is, which is not being very entertaining right now. Why would they at least give us a photo? <laughs> okay, so this these guys rolling up. You see the guy with the orange vest standing next to that yellow bottle? He's a crew chief. That's what I do. The guys right there all talking, they're a back shop. That's what it's called. They're a back shop. They came out to fix the jet because it's, it's about to take off. So what they're doing right now is they're talking to the pilots, trying to figure out what issue the pilots are having with the jet so that they can fix it and launch the plane. I'm sorry, Advanced Military Tech, but this is a pretty bad shot video. It's entertaining for someone like me that does this job, but it, like for someone who's never seen it, maybe it is entertaining. I don't know. I see this every day, so like... So now they're going to work on it. I'm guessing this is Jet Shop. These are the Jet guys. So the number two engine's not starting. It makes sense because they start the number three engine. So your engines go one. You see one on the right, two right there, three on the left, and then four on the left. So that's the very last engine that they will start. They go three, four, one, and two. So apparently they got all that, like that engine on the right over there is running right now. It, it, is, it is sitting at idle. So apparently they got to the number two engine and nothing happened. So these guys come out and worked on it. I'm hoping, like, most of this makes sense to you. So, now they're getting ready to launch. They pulled up the crew entry door, or the crew entry ladder. They closed the crew entry chute. And they're getting re They're actually taxi. They didn't show the taxi. They're just taxiing. They didn't show, like, the crew chief waving them out and all that. So yeah, so like me, I would be waving them out, tell them which way to turn, and then they would take off like they are right now. So uh, this is probably where I'm going to stop it, just because, I mean, this is them flying. Our jet doesn't do any, like, aerial maneuvers or anything like that. It's a very big jet. It's a very heavy jet. Our job is to refuel other jets in flight. Yeah, this video is going way too long, so I'm going to stop it right here. I don't know what he was turning back to say. He was turning back like, oh, like he was about to tell you the secret to life. He was like, oh, I'm about to tell him the secret to life. But you're going to have to go to advanced military tech to figure out what he was going to say. I like how I'm promoting this dude's channel. I don't even know this guy. I'm just using this video as a reaction to tell you what I do day to day uh, at my job. 
I really love my job. Um, by the way, if you wanted to do whatever country you're in, I'm telling you, join that Air Force. I've always been obsessed with planes. I've been obsessed with boats and planes growing up and even like now that I'm older. <clears throat> I still, because I work at an airport at my job doing that, and I still... Like, when a plane's taken off, it could be like a, a little Cessna. For some reason, I'll just stop and watch the little Cessna, you know, little single prop Cessna take off. I, I'm just fascinated by it. I, I think it's insane that we, we can just throw stuff up in the air and make it fly around. I just think that's crazy. But um, <clears throat> I'm telling you, if you want to have a good career, go and join your local Air Force, wherever you're at, you know. I don't know, I, like, England, the Air Force there is pretty cool. The guys seem really nice. So, I mean, you know, if you're in England, go join them. Join your local Air Force if you if you don't know what you want to do, as in, like, uh, you don't know a job you want, go join the local Air Force. You will see some of the coolest stuff. I've flown to so many countries doing the job I do. I love the job I do. Um, but, <clears throat> yeah. I, that's enough pro Air Force stuff for tonight. Sinbad, appreciate the request, man. You know, um, once again, if you want to get your name on that board, all you got to do is subscribe. Let me know what you want to see down below. I'll put you on the list. You'll go into the subscribe playoffs, and you'll eventually end up on the board. This video has gone way too long, so I appreciate y'all watching. Check me out, SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter, like always. Check me out the street.